Hello, I'm still playing Soup Mario 2 because I'm tired and when you're sleepy you play games that are based around your sleep. Wow, what a concept. Please select your player, aka PlayStation Portable. E gods, of course, Super Mario 2 is meant for the Sony PSP this entire time. I should have known. Well, at least the brain's working. Yeah, it's on. It's on like Waterfall Kong. Oh man, this waterfall is gonna destroy the bitrate. Oh no. Okay, Toad. Also, there's another warp down here. But instead, I'm just gonna get all the money from these these grass things. These clumps of grass. Perfect job for Toad. Get the coins before the time runs out. Oh, oh. Okay, well, that's a lot of opportunities to get some of the bonuses under my belt. Sadly, World 1, World 3, and World 5 are pretty much the same, just like World 2 and 6 are the same. It's World 4 and 7 that are the unique ones. E well, World 7 is a something, and World 4 is a nice world. Yeah. And I guess World 7 is kind of unique unto itself in a sort of way. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Oh, going on a carpet ride! Oh, I was just thinking about that Magic Carpet game by Bullfrog. You know, that's not a bad thing. I, I just find that many of Bullfrog games by, like, you know, Peter Molyneux... Well, he uses... The levels that are created are using... Like, there there's no level design. Like, the level design stays the same, but... The thing is, I think they use procedurally generated algorithms to create these levels, much like with Populous and stuff. I, I know this because I played Populous. And some other things. He, he likes making god... God games, as he calls them. I mean, that genre isn't used that much nowadays. Maybe you can make a comeback? You know, you are God, you know. I guess that applies to, like, Sims games in a way, too, but this is more so. But I guess Spore is a better example of a more recent God game, even though it's not that recent anymore. But yeah, other way, I wouldn't be doing it. What's another thing I would be doing? I would not be doing the Blue Sphere thing for Sonic. Where you just attach a Sonic 1 to a Sonic 3 Knuckles thing. I'm not doing that. No one has time in the world to do that. Not even a thousand people in the world have enough time to do that. So it's just not going to be done. So yeah. So yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing Populous. Yeah. There's thousands and thousands of levels. It would never fucking end. No, indeed. This is also why I'd never do LPs of roguelikes. Who knows how many iterations there are, considering all the seeds and junk. That applies to me doing randomizers, I realize. As as though the levels aren't procedural generated, but the uh, changes in design are. So, that is something to think about. I, <laughs> unfortunately, I realize this also applies to a game I have been liking, because I tried it a bit, and it, it's Pikmin 2. The caves have random generation. So I don't know if I'd ever allow myself to play Pikmin solely based on Pikmin 2, which kind of, you know, eats at my ass. Pikmin 1's annoying. And then it's like, okay, we'll try playing the Wii U one and the Switch one, then I'm like, or, you know... Actually, no, you can play 3 on Switch, that's not, that's not a problem. But yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh well, I guess Pikmin's not a shoo-in for this channel for reasons. That's a shame. Oh well, Game Wolf wants me, 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 wants to get started in the RTS genre sometime. And I'd probably be more likely to do Warcraft and Command Conquer first. Those are the ones I know anyone would recommend, so I'd probably start with those. Although the first ones of each are kind of weird. It's when you get to, like, the sequels. Then it really ramps up for both Warcraft and Command and Conquer. Although, if I play Command and Conquer, that's gonna be one of those situations where I play a game that has FMV cutscenes, and, um... I'm not sure if the YouTube DMCA policies accommodate for when games have FMV cutscenes, you know, with, like, real fucking actors on screen, and you're just like, oh, wait a minute. 
Like, you definitely wouldn't be able to monetize it, but I, I do wonder about the violation there. That's probably why you haven't seen me do that one Power Rangers game for quite a bit. Besides the fact that I'm not really doing arcade beat-em-ups. I mean, I'll do beat-em-up games, but I've decided I'm not going to do arcade games on this channel. Anything that implies coin munching will not be done. Now, if there's, like, versions where the coin munching isn't done, like Contra for the NES, then it's like, oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to jump, but yeah. It's like, it's either wants my money or it wants to be a blockbuster that wants my money. For being a rental. If we make it too hard, maybe they'll actually buy it so they can, like, force themselves to beat it. Actually, kind of think about the blockbuster rental thing is kind of the reverse of what we do with mobile games now. So with mobile games now, when they advertise them, they just show a guy fucking up something really easy. And it's like, oh man, I could do better than him. Which is funny because that policy is the reason why I started doing YouTube in the first place. Ha <laughs> uh, It's because I'm seeing all you guys suck and I'm like, I can do better. But instead of being an idiot who just comments that he's better, he just decides to go prove it and then realizes how much effort it actually takes to record videos and all that junk. So it's just like, now I have more appreciation for it. And I get fun with it. And I don't have to insult anyone. Victory mine, you know. Victory mine. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, the reverse of that is what Blockbuster does, which is it makes money by making the game so hard that makes you want to beat it, and you know you're not going to be able to beat it over a weekend, so you're just like, I'll buy this just so I can beat it, and you find out you put enough effort in it, it only takes you a week, it's like, I've been scammed, you know? Sad. Yeah. That, that happens. Peach is a bit of a slippery bitch. <laughs> Despite the floating mechanic, which is incredibly good. It's her one main strength is just floating like that even carries over to other games that have Peach in it. We don't know why her dress floats. It just does. Accept it. Although, <laughs> artists have probably figured out, it's like, oh, it probably opens her dress up like an umbrella. Ha ha, look up the skirt. Ha ha. It's like, okay, very funny. So very funny! Am I opposed to playing women in video games? No. I'm opposed to not playing myself in video games. <laughs> like, in this case, it really, really, really doesn't matter. I could have just stuck with Mario the whole time. But it's not like with Hexen, where different characters changes the entire layout of the game. So, there was an excuse to do it that way. Although, now that I'm thinking about, like, that Rise of the Triad Ludicrous Edition, which, by the way, if I play Rise of the Triad, I'm gonna do the Ludicrous Edition. It occurs to me that in, ex in Extreme Rise of the Triad pack, that you can only beat it with one character. That is unusual for a, a game that has you select different characters, because you, you don't know you choose the wrong one until you're, like, more than halfway through that thing. It's like, oops, better start the whole game over as the one character can do that. It's like, why would you do that? Like, you should make it so you switch can switch characters per level. Like in Super Mario 2, you dummy. I mean, I can understand not doing it in Hexen since you actually change the level layout, but they don't change the level layout on Rise of the Triad because you select a different character. That's not how that works at all. This is the Mario of my dreams. That is because you're actually in your dreams. But what is reality and what is the fiction? Is the Mario stuck in the Matrix? Oh no! Now I can't go back! No! It's okay. I have, I have brought a POW block for my... the alternate dark world. Although if this were the Super NES, the POW would look backwards to add, like, some sort of effect sort of metaphor about going backwards and calling it a whop. Actually, no, isn't there a... Isn't there a something Mario fan game or something where there is kind of like the reverse pow? Which is just an upside-down pow, and instead of killing everything on the ground, it kills everything there. That might be that Super Mario War game thing. I wonder how that's doing. Because the AI in it is sucky. Hey, Mario. You gotta get this key and then 
no one you get. The power block in my house. Throw it at friends. Throw it at my friends. My friends are worth throwing. To my all of friends. And I put my friends in my pocket. And I call them Polly! Because Polly World! Polly World! Yep. Oh boy. Sure not going crazy from this sequence. No, sir! Oh no, look! <laughs> you can watch the Sparky's mate! Or, or maybe they're having a tussle. You decide. I could kill both of them and save them from their misery. Being stuck like that. Yep, now we're gonna have to stop just to put the key down and it's gonna be, Oh boy, I better wait for him to go to hell away so he can stop stalking me. Because he thinks I'm sort of thief where I'm just like, it's the only way to escape. The only way to escape, you fool. It's like, no, I shall keep the door locked forever. I, the great Lefanto. Lefanto. Uh, Lefanto. Yeah, cl clearly this is like... Uh, <laughs> clearly Lefanto is Arsene Lupin. Very classy gentleman burglar ghost. Gentleman ghost, anyway. Yeah. Going through places. All of the places. Onto the cross. Oh no, use the cross, take that first aid. Yeah, this is why I don't, um... I don't LP Doom for, like, the, uh, the uh, actual Steam version, because... Even though Zenimax owns it now, that means they had to relicense. I, I don't know what his Red Cross's deal, where it's just like, No, you do not get to use the Red Cross. And I'm just like... It, it, it represents healing. Why would we not do that? <laughs> You don't see Switzerland getting mad. Actually, are they getting mad at you? No. That's because they don't care. That's because you don't care about them, or you have a deal with them in their offshore Swiss bank accounts. Come on, spit fire at me! Be a fire crab leaf thing! Don't be your mileage points! Be the be the miles you pour along the way! Little Sparky circling around the block. One of them had a really bad cock. Sure, I'll go in there. I'll, I'll pow everybody on the face. Oh man, a star that's gonna prove useless because I can't jump high enough fast enough. Oh well. Looks like I'm going to have to jump! I can do it! I can do it nine times! Ah! 